Okay, Milliger fans, it is June 1st and time for a color card. So many people have been asking for this. So we're with Definitely. Dan the Man and <laughs> you've laid out this color card of all yeah. this fun new well, stuff that just arrived. It was uh, hard. I mean, these carts are too small. <laughs> well, yes, that is a challenge of trying to contain everything. But we just have, then we just have to do it more often. That's what we should do. We yeah, should do that. Right. Yes. Mm, right. And we're here. Spring is here. We're underneath the yum yum tree. Hey. <laughs> Our magical spot for the color cart. Mm. And where do you want to start? Well, I'd like to start with actually a couple of beautiful new evergreens. Uh, this is a uh, actually uh, a cypress. Uh, it's called soft serve. Uh, it's like, I like soft serve. But it's this golden color and it's so soft. It's most, you know, a lot of evergreens are picky and, you know, yeah. yeah, like, but this is real soft. And this would be great if you were trying to produce a hedge, you know, if you get a neighbor you don't like, you know what I mean? Has that ever happened? Even if you like your neighbors, sometimes you just don't want to be like in the same no. backyard. Yeah, right. right. Yeah, I mean. right. Yeah. So, yeah, because this one will get like six to 10 feet tall. Uh, depending on the situation, and uh, and it'll get five to six feet wide, so you can you could make a really nice hedge with that, you know. So how about sun or shade? Well, this will this does actually well in sun or part shade. Okay, you know, part so. shade means like mm -hmm. six hours. Would you say half yeah. a day? Yeah, right. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Six hours or more is full sun. So, mm -hmm. so but uh, so so right. it does it does it it'll it'll take quite a bit of shade actually because it's a cypress. You yeah. Know, so yeah. So well, so. I'm just thinking of this beautiful mm -hmm. bright color and yeah. in those shady areas. I'm always trying to think of well, okay, what is going to pop? Right. Yeah. How are we going to be able to? Well, we do have a soft serve green too, a green one, you know. But I just think the color just I adds love this so much color. more life to the backyard. Absolutely. You know, so. Isn't it gorgeous? Yeah, I, so. It is, and mm -hmm. it's making me hungry. Soft serve. I feel like we should go to Dairy <laughs> yeah. Queen right this now. This wants to look like a like a Dairy Queen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a DQ. Yeah. So and this is really a cute one. This is a, a it's a. a Arborvita, but it's a plicatum. All the plicatums are deer resistant, so this is really nice. It has a little coarser foliage, uh, but it um, uh, it does grow you like. You guys about, see that? Yeah, it does grow about three to four feet tall and just grows in a perfect ball. It never needs any maintenance, and it's like a perfect accent. Well, plant, I really love know? the texture on this. Yeah, and this color, this green color. It has this green color all summer, and then in the winter, it turns gets kind of a purpley color on it. Oh, wow. It's really pretty. So, yeah, oh, I have a perfect spot for this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. all right, good. <laughs> <laughs> I hope a lot of other people do too. Yes, right. <laughs> yeah. I like that size. So, right. And uh, this is our, uh, our uh, some, summer sweet, uh, uh, the sweet bush. This is oh. the Itea, you know. So, yes, okay. And uh, I love, this is a new one. Uh, the regular older ones, uh, the, like the Henry's uh, and the Little Henry, those, the flowers actually kind of droop more. You know, they kind of right. hang over. So this one's called Fritzy Mitzy, and they stand up really nice and tall, and they have little pink casts. See little pink casts I do. on the end of the tick. Can you show them? Uh, well, the she's tick? zooming in. Oh, she's zooming in. We oh, have great. a okay. videographer this time, so Man. I don't have to try to muscle not, these things. I'm not used to that. <laughs> so, yeah. So, I know. So Fritzy Mitzy is a really nice one because it uh, has the nice uh, foliage, uh, that our flowers that stand up. And this is great for the pollinators too, the, the hummingbirds. Well, it's and easier the, access for them to be able right, to get to. Mm -hmm, and right, yeah. So, and uh, the fall color on these is gorgeous too. It's a real dark, almost like a real dark colored, um, kind of a crimsony red color. Oh, beautiful. I love yeah. where you get that additional benefit. You yes, know, right. Where mm -hmm. you get the uh, different seasons and right. different things to look forward to. Mm -hmm, definitely, yeah. So, so, is this the flower or is the flower opening? Yeah, well, no, this it's, it's not flower. open yet. Oh, it's, oh, it's just not starting open to open. Yet. Yeah, see, some of these are, some of them are a little further open, I but see. yeah, they really haven't opened yet. This is just the bud yet, so. Well, that's a lot yeah. of flowers. Exactly. I mean, that's yeah, so they're, really quite they're, a show. They are amazing. Yeah, it does actually bloom much, big, much better than the little Henry, too, so, but. But it I still has it. a nice compact size, so which people really like the compact size, so they don't have to do a lot of pruning. This one's got one kind of sticking off here. You might want to prune that one off. See how they. Oh yeah. Yeah. So, well, just to uh, get just to give it the right shape. Yeah. Or maybe right. wait till mm. it's done blooming and then kind yeah, of just that's to enjoy what I the do. Yeah, blooms. right. Mm. Or put it in a vase or something, you know. So. There you go. So <laughs> many things you can do. Yeah. <laughs> you bring it in the house. So, and then. Uh, we have some hypericums too. I love now, these. Yeah, these are amazing. This. this uh, uh, this one is called pumpkin because uh, you can see where it, where we had the yellow blooms. There's there's some uh, still some buds here. These are going to bloom uh, with a yellow bloom, and then they get these little berries on, and these berries are are persistent. They stay on for a long. You'll have a color all summer long with these. And this one is called pumpkin because they they turn a pumpkin color. So, oh, fun! But yeah, isn't that cute? Yeah. So we have all different kinds. Oh, and there's a really cool one with 
uh, real dark foliage too. That uh, I didn't bring one that of that one because we only have three left. So oh, we can't promote <laughs> right that because there's yeah. going to be a mad rush. <laughs> yeah, but we'll be getting more in. But I hate I'm to, excited for this. I like to put things on the color. So is this a sunnier have. location then? Uh, sunny or part sun. Okay. Yeah, right, yeah, right. So not shade, but it'll do fine. And it probably would like more sun. So okay. To, to get just the, so we know. To get the most and the height on, on this it. again? Uh, about three to four feet. Okay, perfect. Like that. mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right, a great yeah. size. That seems yeah. to work for mm -hmm. uh, you know a lot of people. Right. So, and then uh, I've got these uh, the uh, sambucas. This is the elderberries. This is really a cool one too. This is uh, called uh, burgundy lace. A black lace, black lace. So black lace elderberry. Right. Yeah. Beautiful. And this, I picked this one because they're starting to bloom now. So Can you guys see this, the flowers on there? They get, they get this. This one, this is still buds here, but this is the flower, and they're they're great. The pollinators love them, and uh, but the, they're mostly grown because of their beautiful foliage. It's this real dark color. So, some people eat, think it looks even like a Japanese maple. Yeah, and it's so, very elegant. Yeah. Right. Doesn't it? And that beautiful. feathery, and it has right. like good motion. Yeah, and it's a sambuca, so which uh, an elderberry. That's a, a native plant, you know. So. <laughs> well, yeah, and a lot of people are looking for native plants. Exactly. Yeah. So. Very pretty. Isn't that pretty? And then its cousin, uh, this is <laughs> uh, lemony lace. This is the elderberry with the. Oh, wow. With the <laughs> lacy. Oh. I love anything in these like uh, bright, yeah. you know, pops of color. Oh and yeah, that, that's what's nice I mean, about this, this one. It'll take so some nice. shade too. So if you want to put it in a shadier area, it gives you a little life. You know, a lot of those shadier areas get so dark and dreary, and and uh, um, this will get you know again about four to five feet tall. And you can trim these a lot. You know, so if if you get some wild ones going here and there or whatever, you just just cut them off. Or in the spring, cut it way back like a couple feet tall or something like that and let it bush out again you know so um yeah lemony lace elderberry this yeah, is right. one of my favorites yeah. i mean the color is awesome isn't that amazing yeah, yeah i love it that, i'll put it right here yeah i'll lime, put it right next to me oh it feels yeah, good right. too <laughs> uh, another one the pollinators like are the nine barks this is this is uh i brought this one along because this is a, a dwarf one um this one is called um little well the dwarf size is really nice little joker little joker right. yeah, we have we have little do you know do you have any jokes oh oh hey <laughs> <laughs> this to, is perfect I'll, for you i'll try to think of yeah yeah. yeah but i'm not a little joker i'm a big joker <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah this could be your sidekick <laughs> yeah. your wingman yeah. here they are together big joker a little joker yeah <laughs> so um but uh yeah this one's called little joker we also have little devil Little, oh, little devil, devil. Uh, has um, it's the same gets the same size three to four feet, but it has larger leaves. This one I this, I really love this one because look how tiny the leaves are, aren't they? They're so small. They're so tiny. Isn't that cute? But I mean, look at all the flowers on here. I like know. you said, when we're really thinking about the pollinators, they're yeah, always right. looking for uh -huh. a smorgasbord of flowers. Exactly. Yeah, they they just uh, <clears throat> you know will we'll love it. So. And little jokester, I mean, I got a good joke for you. Oh yeah. Okay, so um, <laughs> I mean, I'm working. Oops, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a little joker in little jokester in progress here. Okay. But um, so we got rid of our rooster, and now we only have a duck. We don't have a rooster anymore. So wow. now yeah. I'm waking up at the quack of dawn. Oh. <laughs> Is that good? Yeah. Yeah. Daughter in training. Yeah. <laughs> And that quack comes earlier though. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Everybody ready for smell of vision? Yay! Hey, all, right. all right. Is this cart rolling away or is it just me? No, I don't all know. Right. Yeah. This is it's just this me. is uh this is our, our mock orange. Oh yes. Aren't those fabulous? Wow. Yeah. This one's called Snowbell. And this one you have to I put, want one of these. Have to put in an area close to your patio because oh. it's so beautiful. It just smells so good. Love it. And look at the buds on here yet. This is going to bloom for a long time. It's all full of buds and the, these are open. So it gives you a lot of, lot of color and a lot of uh, Well, fragrance. and these flowers are so elegant too. Yes, I right. mean, they're yeah. just beautiful. Mm -hmm. So we even have ones now that uh, they're, um, they're like grow like a tower. They grow like taller and real narrow. So if you have a narrow, if you have, more uh, columnar kind of thing. Yeah, right. Yeah. So this one, this one is more of a bush type, you know, so more of an old fashioned. And this is a sunny location, I'm assuming. Yeah, mm, right. Mm -hmm, um, yeah. And the height on this? This this one will get about five to six feet, okay. you know, so. Well, that's good. That's right at my smelling site. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Right where right your nose is. Right. <laughs> For most of us, <laughs> That's yes. where we want it. Yeah, I, I love I hate to that. have to bend over too no, much. No, I don't. Know? I don't want to do any work. I want it to just be right in my face. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Mock orange. <laughs> Oh, you know what? The color is the the, the cart's been moving. We're, we're I told moving you, this down cart on the, is rolling further away. on the cart. 
All right, hang on. Hey, how about this baby? Is Isn't that Tina that cool? Turner? Well, we call it uh, Tina Turner. Yeah, right. <laughs> Doesn't look like Tina Turner. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I love it. I mean, it's so fun. This is actually an arborvita. No way. You can believe it? Yeah, right. So it's a uh, called whip cord. And because uh, it looks like a cord that you whip somebody with, you know, you're yes, familiar with those, you? Yes, or even you could dance with this. I mean, <laughs> yeah. this is Tina Turner right here yeah, right. in the flesh. Yeah, but isn't that cute though? And it's super cute. And it'll cute. grow and it'll just like hang way down. This is just So this will yet, require you know, like some maintenance, some trimming, some, not you know, Not really keep, much oh, though. No, no, no oh, wow. really. Yeah, it'll, You just it'll, let that hair just go wild. Yeah, right. Yeah. Isn't that cool? You can put sunglasses on it, make a little face on there. You can yes. You can decorate it for the holidays, you know. So. I love it. <laughs> Make it into uh, a little uh, Rastafari Easter Bunny, Easter man. Bunny. Put the, you know, so yeah. <laughs> put it by your front door. And what, does this, this is probably a pretty slow growing. I mean, it yes. stays, yeah. you know, mm, more compact. Right. That's oh, great. Yeah, right, yeah. So, but but uh, we do ha actually have this in a bush form too, just a low growing one. But this one, we have a few of these that are uh, I think that's so standard. fun. Me too. Yeah. I think it's much more interesting. You right, know, you got to so. have something fun like that. Yeah, like right, something for sure. up, up in the air a little more, you know. Right. So. And then I have a couple more that are, wow, this one here is here. That's a must. Oh, uh, butterfly bush. Yeah, right. Oh, man, the ones the butterflies go just go crazy for. We have we have lots of different types of butterfly bushes. This one is called the lo and behold uh, one because it's a real low, um, like two to three foot ones. But we have some that get like, you know, six to eight feet tall even, you know. Remember the one I used to have outside your bedroom window that used to, <laughs> used to just lay in the window and watch yeah, the butterflies? Yeah, I mean, it was loaded <laughs> with butterflies all the time. I, I mean, it really, there is a reason why they call it a butterfly bush. Yeah, right. <laughs> So, but, and these come in different colors. This is the, you know, the blue. And, they, and what's the bloom time and, on this? Well, they're, they're, they're once they start blooming, uh, they'll bloom the rest of the summer. They'll bloom, wow. they'll bloom up until the first frost. But these have been forced, so they're, uh, if you have one in your yard, it might not even have leafed out yet. But, yeah. Because so, it's been so cold. In Wisconsin. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Burr, I need a sweatshirt right but now. But we have, yeah, we have calls all the time in the spring. People say, oh, my butterfly bushes must be dead, you know. And they say, just leave it. If it doesn't. <laughs> come by the end of uh, June, then maybe it's, it's a little late to, you know, it, it does like it warm and it likes it hot. sunny yeah, and hot right, and sunny. Yeah. So. so that and hibiscus too, though, the rose of Sharon. Yeah. So, yeah. But it's coming. It'll happen. Right. Mm -hmm. Just not quite yet, but and I love this. This one. The grand uh, finale. This, well, this is, well, not quite, maybe. <laughs> is there more? <laughs> no. Oh. Well, <laughs> quit ruining, ruining my. Sorry, I didn't, I mean, I want to steal your thunder here. Yeah. This is a, a new uh, Wygelia. It's, it, it's a, we have the Sonic series, Sonic Bloom series, and these are re-blooming Wygelia. So cool. So, so when yeah. would you expect blooms then? Well, um, it'll bloom all summer. Yeah, so oh, but wow. you can see on this one, see there's some yeah. that's bloomed already. And, and now it's continuing all the, all to bloom again. the new ones are coming. Yeah, so it just So keeps... after it's done blooming, is there anything you need to do as far as like, should you should you cut off those blooms? Yeah, should you cut right. things you should, back? You should take them off because okay. it'll, it'll make it bloom heavier and make it bloom, right. early, you know, re-bloom earlier, you know, so. But we also, we have the pink and we also have a red. So there's oh. a red color too in the Sonic color series, you know, so. But uh, that's, that's the something. hardest thing for me to decide is pink or red. Yeah, right. Well, I don't know. How, about, how about both? One of each. Yeah, put <laughs> yeah. some together. If, if you can't decide, just one, get one of each, you know. Yeah. So, now, if you notice something that's missing from the display? Probably, I'm going to guess. <laughs> <laughs> A hydrangea. Yes. <laughs> I know how much you love to talk about well, hydrangeas. I love hydrangeas, and I got a whole color card, and I didn't have room for a hydrangea. But we're in hydrangea you know land. Next, you know, one of the yeah, you know, one of our car, one, one of our color cards should just be all hydrangeas, I think, because there's like so many. And the only thing is, when you talk about hydrangeas, Dad, it goes on and on and, and on. on. And <laughs> yeah, I mean, I it was a half hour later, like, ooh, yeah. which we is have good. A, a I mean, we just got a yeah. Two hour color card. <laughs> I know how much you love hydrangeas. Right, yeah. But why do you like them so much? Well, because they bloom all, I mean, once they start blooming, they bloom all summer, you know. I mean, some of them don't actually produce new blooms all summer, but the blooms last all summer, you know, so. That's amazing. But most of the ones now that we're, that we're introducing are all re-blooming ones that keep blooming and blooming and blooming all you summer You want to go grab one real quick? Should you I? want to grab a bloom? Okay. You guys want right, to see okay. a blooming hydrangea? <laughs> All right, because we all have right. a really big event coming up. So uh, Thursday night, that is June 20th, we have a hydrangea happening right here out on the nursery lot. It's going to be a ton of fun. We've got great education and lots of hydrangeas and some amazing specials to offer you. Um, and just 
I mean, it's going it, to be really it's fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. And yeah. we had it last year, and it was a big hit. And this year, uh, we're going to have actually having three nurseries are, are participating in it. Last year was yeah. just the Bailey's nursery. And we nursery. were just really focused on that pop star. Now yeah, we right. can really educate you on all the hydrangeas. All, yeah, so have. Monrovia and also Willow Ale will also be, uh, you know, um, Cooperating this year into the in, with the show, you know. So, yeah, that's awesome. But, yeah, so this is something. Because you fresh. can't beat a hydrangea. Right. Look at that. Look at this. Look at the flowers on that. Isn't that amazing? I know. And you I can just see that them. it's a rebloomer because look at this one is an older one, more mature one, and then here's a, a, the next segment coming, and then these are all going to be blossoms too. So I mean, it's <laughs> it just keeps getting new ones as as the old ones. Uh, fade away the yeah the, when you talk about like um you know putting a flower in a vase or something like oh, that i yeah. mean there's nothing more mm, elegant right. to me than hydrangeas and They're then so beautiful. these are the ones too that you can you know everybody always asks about the pink and the blue you know so but yeah uh so obviously here in uh you know the, this part of wisconsin uh, we have a real um uh, alkaline soil you know so they'll bloom, be blooming pink but if you want them to bloom blue you can add the soil acidifier, you know, so. And when you add a soil acidifier, like when mm. you go in the store, is it just a bag that says soil acidifier? Yes, yes. Wow, that's so easy. <laughs> yeah, right. But, and then, um, <laughs> Philip had me add something when we um, planted oh, all those the, hydrangeas yeah, to right, make, yeah. make sure that they really flower. Yeah, that's, that's the superphosphate. Superphosphate. Right, so, yeah, right. why mm. do we want to give that? Well, a lot of people say, oh, my hydrangeas aren't blooming. They, you know, they don't have any blossoms on them. And then I'll, I'll ask them, are the leaves real green? And I said, oh yeah, the leaves are just gorgeous. You know, they're beautiful. I said, oh no, it's got too much nitrogen. You oh, know? So, okay. So yeah, the nitrogen is great for get, the foliage. For, yeah, if, well, if you want your lawn to be green, you put nitrogen on it, right? You know, but if you want blossoms and you don't really care too much about the color of the leaves, you don't want, you don't want all the power going to the leaves. I you want, want it to go to the Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, <laughs> so that's what the superphosphate does. Right. Yeah. So do you recommend everyone putting that on their hydrangeas? Or? Uh, well, it'll it'll make them all bloom better. Yeah. So I mean, if we want blooms. Yeah. Right? If you want. If blooms. you want blooms, maybe <laughs> you don't. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Maybe you like the green foliage. Yeah. It has a nice texture. <laughs> right. Okay. Superphosphate. Because we just started doing that this year. And yeah. It seems like it makes a big difference. Oh, definitely. Yeah. You'll yeah. notice a big difference. So. Well, we don't want to miss that Thursday, no. mm -hmm. June twentieth. Right. The June twentieth. Yeah. That's going to oh, be awesome. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you, can you do you have to sign up? Do you have to register? There is, it's free. It's a free event, but mm -hmm. um, you can register right on our website. Um, it's there's mm -hmm. like a Google form you fill out, just so we can get uh, the proper attendance and so that we know who's coming. Right. So we can prepare, make sure that we've got enough staff. Mm -hmm. um, we might have some wine available. Mm -hmm. Something right. like that. So, because I mean, it's just so great out here to walk around I know, and enjoy I know. it. So. It's usually a perfect oh, yeah. night too, you know. So. Yeah. But, All right. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Yeah. Well, thanks for the color cart. Uh, sure. Stay tuned. Mm -hmm. We'll be doing some more highlights um, each week on uh, what is happening out here on the nursery lot. Be sure to check out both store locations. The nursery lots um, are fully loaded with incredible plant offerings, and we have a really educated staff at both store locations. Right. One thing I find that people are doing, and I really appreciate this, and I think this will be really helpful for you, um, is print off some pictures of your yard. I mean, it's, yeah. we can see it on your phone, but sometimes it's a little bit harder mm -hmm. but if you come in with actual like a printed copy of an area that you want to work on mm -hmm. then we can actually it's sketch out easier, and much you know, easier yeah right to be able to see mm -hmm. it and like even just label and write where you want to put certain plants mm -hmm. so print off those pictures bring them to our staff they do an incredible job mm -hmm. of being able to help you with your landscaping or you call a landscape architect like there this guy uh, and he'll come <laughs> out to your house and do the work there so whatever works best for you we are absolutely available either way mm -hmm. and we will see you guys soon happy summer thanks for joining us